Let's talk about the three most common mistakes in marketing. Wait, actually, before I get into those, let me tell you the mistake that most companies make. And this has nothing to do with if you Google, what are the top three marketing mistakes? This is at the very beginning where you need to decide what you're actually doing and why you're in business. It's not about how you market. It's about what makes you marketable. Samantha Russell said something to this effect. I will link to her profile. She's wonderful to follow on LinkedIn. Tons of great marketing tips. You have to really ask yourself, what about my business is marketable? So I could tell you, oh, the top mistakes in marketing are lacking authenticity, not harnessing digital channels, not being consistent, not understanding your target market. I've made some of these mistakes myself, especially the one about understanding the target market. And that relates to when you insert a solution versus starting with the problem. You have to be in love with the problem you're solving, right? Doesn't matter if you're in love with the problem, doesn't matter if you understand digital channels, doesn't matter if you have a great content strategy, if you're not marketable in the first place. Most companies aren't, sorry, is true. They could get there, but they have to do a lot of work before they start going down these tactical roads and following the shiny objects. Like, what's our thread strategy? That was hot for two weeks and then look what happened. <laughs> the monthly active users on threads. Let's see, actually, how, how badly have they dropped off? Oh, Vulcan Post, the fastest flop in history. Data show that threads popularity crashed in just one week. So I had clients calling me when threads launched around the same time that Twitter became X, which I'm not even going to comment on the absolute blunder from a brand equity perspective of getting rid of the bird and going to the grunge X. Emily, Emily, what's our thread strategy? What are we going to do? I got calls on Sunday. Do we have to update our whole social media strategy? What, what's our thread strategy? First off, you could paste basically whatever you were going to tweet anyway onto threads if you're still on threads, if you want to do that. It's just follow the bouncing ball, right? So instead of worrying so much about what's our thread strategy or, and it's not to say don't worry. When new things come out and they have fast adoption, you should keep an eye on it and per perhaps you should participate there. But these are channels. And the thing with marketing is, it's not about tactics. You could really break marketing down into three things. Everything in marketing is either PR, direct response, or branding. Everything else is tactics. That's what Bob Norp said. Check out the Beancast. If you're not listening to that podcast, Bob is a friend. He's been doing a wonderful podcast for at least a decade, marketing rundowns weekly. But he said, yeah, it's three things. PR, direct response, or branding. Branding is awareness. Branding is, is like a McDonald's billboard. Direct response is giving you this information. And I would like you to transact. You want to convert. There's a CTA. Buy now. Simplest would be the big blue coupon from Bed Bath & Beyond. Great example of very effective direct response. And there's PR. You could say that a lot of social and content marketing would fall under the PR bucket, which is adjacent to branding sometimes, but it's putting your image out there painting a picture, telling a story. It's very effective, especially for companies that aren't in e-commerce or who have a long sales cycle where you're building that relationship brand equity over time till they're ready to convert. Could be a year or two away. Could be event-driven conversion. A lot of the time with financial advisors, wealth management, divorce, going to college, death, inheritance, lottery, event-driven. When they're event-driven, Someone's going to either Google, which when you're dealing with money, what are you going to Google someone to help you with your money? No, ask your friends or think, man, I've always seen that guy on my feed talking about the mega backdoor Roth IRA or giving me insight on the housing market. And I should give him a call. I've seen him in my feed for years. He seems really trustworthy and smart. Don't worry so much about the tactics. You get so far in the weeds of what's our strategy on LinkedIn, Instagram Reels, TikTok, Threads, X. It used to be Google Plus. It used to be MySpace. It used to be Facebook. These things come and go. But if you understand what makes you marketable in the first place, you'll know exactly what to do and say on whatever is the channel du jour. So to wrap it up, it's not so much about the marketing tactics and the channels that you're active on. You should pick the right ones to be active on based on where your audience hangs out because the lines between professional and personal, between business and a general content of whatever you see in your feed, following friends, brands, influencers, topics that you like, brands are now in that feed. And that's where everything happens in most businesses, at least. Bye, guys. Talk to you next time.